Hello everyone. Um, I was told to make a picture, a random picture of a cat generator. I don't know what you want to call it. We call it a latte command. So you can do this with any pictures. If you have a group of pictures you want to just send at random or memes, that's fine. But simply what I did was so I have the command all I did was add a folder and a new file. So it so in the commands you just add a folder I called fun and we did latte.js but you can name it as memes if you have a bunch of memes you want to send. This will only get just as a disclaimer it will only get files that you put into this folder. This doesn't get random all the time. This well is this gets random pictures but only in what we have here. However you can if you if there's usually a library to send random pictures from a website I would say. That would probably be better for you if you're trying to do that. But if you have like a group of pictures that you want to send like these then this is what works, but since this is of a, of a specific, specific cat, of a girl's cat actually, which I'll show you once I get to the testing part, that's what this is. So for now make a folder, whatever you want to call it, or you just want to put in one, no, in just one foot, doesn't matter. Um, just make sure you have this and then what we did was we're using FS to read files and we're get and just call this command type for from discord then you just need to do a module dot exports equals open the brackets and then info colon brackets again name colon the string of the command name has to match the file name description colon string random of what well, well string and just put your description and your type with a colon in make sure you don't forget these commas the type application command type dot chat input then that'll be it for info then we're doing async, execute, and then we have app, interaction, and embed. Alright, now we're not using embed in this, you can, but I found it easier just to do this way. Because, I don't know, doing set image only gets it from a URL, so, for embed. Anyway, we're going to let these files, which is it will be an array, equal to fs.read.sync. And we, we just gave this relative path URL. So before I move on, if you're doing it the way I do to get specific things, all you need to do is go into where I have static, but it doesn't really matter. Whatever folder it's named, create a new folder, call it, give it any name. And place all your pictures into here. All right. And then when you go to here, just go right into the directory where you put that folder. Right click, copy relative path, and then paste it here. So if I do that now, so if I Remove this, go here, right click, copy relative path, control V, you might want to go back and change these to the opposite direction, because it's easier like that, and there you go. And then we'll make, make call in another variable to do files with open square bra brackets, which is to get an index to return from that array and we're doing math.floor 
math.random times files.length. So this pretty much gets a number from zero, from zero and one, but never one. And multiplying that by files.length, which is however many pictures we have here, will be here, and that will be multiplied by that to get anywhere from zero to whatever, and then floor will round it for us. Yeah, the greatest int integer less than or equal to the art is numeric or whatever, but yeah. And once we get that, we put it into here, and then we'll do a wait, interaction reply, files, we want to open the brackets, brackets, and then the files section, just do square brackets because it is an array, and then do the asterisk, I think it's called, I'm not too short, but it's that, those little things, it's right above your tab, dot, slash, your src, or this here, the folder at which this is at, your actual, you know, where the pictures are, then you do a money sign brackets, because this is a string literal, and put that variable into there. Now, you, I, I guess you could do a plus if you're doing normal, but do this, it's much, it looks so much nicer. And just make sure that is done. Now, you will get this warning after you first ran it, right here. It's a buffer, it's an experimental feature, it can change. Just, just make sure you're aware of that, but that's not really an issue unless you want to look more into it. And so, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and show you. Alright, so we're here now. And now that we're here... The bot is online, so we just do this latte. That's my command name, and then we'll do this and we'll wait a little bit because of that buffer that I told you about, and it'll send an image. Then we do it again. It should be a different image. Sometimes if it gets the same image, that's okay. Most likely, it won't happen. There you go. That's pretty much everything. Easy command. And yeah. Alright. So I'll be ex still accepting a lot of command commands in the comments. Just make sure you post it. And I'll put it on this list that is in here. Great, more cats. God damn it. <laughs> Okay, but anyway, yeah, I'll put you, paste them here. I have it in the pins, so I have from one video, which was a select menu thing, and another one that was pretty much like it. I was gonna put them both together. Don't need this one anymore, but yeah, I'll keep it here as a to do list. But yeah, so see ya. That's everything.